Okay, so now the next thing off of our inside zone is we run a ton of boot, okay? And I'm sure, I don't know how many of you guys run inside zone and run naked and all that kind of stuff off of it. But it's a pretty easy concept for us. We'll start it out at 12 personnel, and I'll get you to, to 11 personnel and one expanded, two expanded. But we're talking boot. All right? So we attach our inside zone. So we call the first one is 22. We're running inside zone to the right. Okay? So we call 122, and then we tag it with seams, or we tag it with X or Z clover, or whatever it might be, right? And that told everybody that it was pocket protection. All right, now we run inside zone. So now we go 122, and we tag it with naked. Now, naked tells our guys now we're out of pocket. We're out of pocket on the protection. It also tells this guy <coughs> that it's naked, okay? So we have play side, we have back side. Same thing up front with the, this. It doesn't change for these guys right here. It's inside zone to the right. Simple, right? Or do you want to lose your guy? That way, whether it was naked or not. Now it changes, the naked is basically the concept for everybody else. On the back side, we have one expanded, okay? We have one expanded. We have one expanded, two expanded rule. One expanded, we've got what we call a stretch route, guys, where we're working to the bottom of the numbers, 15 to 12, we're running a stretch out. I know a lot of people run a comeback. I, I, I like to let the receiver have vision the entire time, right? So if the ball's inside over here, and we're running the old school comeback, where we get to 15, and we run the corner to 18, and then we're coming right back down, right? It's a great spot for the quarterback. It's a great spot for the quarterback. Our stretch out is we run to 15, we pivot off our outside foot, we're back down. I think it's a little quicker and a little bit easier for our quarterbacks. And if you've got up here and argued about you like to come back or out better, I, I wouldn't be able to really argue with you, with you that much. But we, the comeback is the only route that we run. The only time we run a comeback is in boot, in our offense. We run these stretch routes in about 10 or 12 different concepts, okay? So this is naked. We're still stepping. Play side on inside zone with their tight end. He's working 10 yards by the numbers. 10 yards by the numbers. I don't care if you run over backers. I don't care if you run under the backers. Don't run through the backers, right? Do not be a magnet. I want you to get sell inside zone for a step, and then 10 yards by the numbers. Be there as fast as you can, man. You're, you know what's on fire, and the bucket of water's right there. Backside. Play side, we've got the post, all right? Now, with our swiper, our H-back, he is digging it out, right? Like he's, gonna, like he's gonna dig that guy out. Like he's gonna dig him out. His aim point's the same. We're the inside leg of the back of the backside guard. We're gonna dig it out, and this is key, guys. You've gotta make sure that the defensive end, the first man outside our end man on the backside, goes inside of you. He has got to go inside of you. Because if he doesn't, our quarterback cannot get out of pocket. Okay? He cannot get out of pocket. So we're really going to try to sell this guy to get him to dig it out. And then we're into the flat at four. All right? What do I tell, we tell the quarterback? Top down. We're working that thing top down. Stretch to tight end to fullback. Okay? Whether we're out of the pistol or the gun, whatever it might be, our aiming point is the outside leg of the guard. And we tell the running back, on this play, you're a garbage man, you're working inside out. You work inside out for the protection, because we're booting away, and you gotta go. The quarterback, I don't give him a depth, we talk about tempo, okay? From the mesh, I want you to run as fast as you can, okay? From the mesh, after the mesh, after the quarterback leaves you, run as fast as you can. If you have a guy in your face, Get big and throw. So if we're here, then I'm going to gas pedal and run as fast as I can and as, to get around whomever might be there, or if there's no one there, run as fast as you can downhill. 
Run as fast as you can downhill. I don't worry about, you know, set their feet and shoulders. No, run as fast as you can. You have a football in your hand. You just happen to get to throw it. Don't worry about your feet. Run as fast as you can. They'll figure themselves out. If there is a guy that maybe they bring two off the edge or whatever it might be, get big. And if, because if there's a guy in your face who's covering the H, nobody. And if they have somebody doing that, it's a horrible call by me. Trust me. <coughs> Trust me. I'm not going to yell at you if you throw an interception because there's a dude in your face, you get big and dump it to your fullback. That, that's on me that it's not on you. That's a bad call. Alright. So here we are. We also have this play in our offense as a, as a tempo play, one of those one word calls. So this defensive end is upfield. Our H does a nice job. He's digging it out. He sees he's up there. He gets outside. Of it. And that's what we talk about getting big. The guy got in your face. Get big. And we drill this with our quarterbacks. We, this is a day one install for us. And we drill it once a week, two or three minutes, once a week, just getting big from all different weird angles, guys. Because you know sometimes you got to throw it underneath, you got to get up really tall and, and you know, just lay it in there. But we drill it for two or three minutes every day. So now, I think we've got two expanded up here. Okay, so now the next, the next concept, not concept, but the change of the concept is based on how many guys are out here. If we have a tight end on the back side, we still have one expanded, okay? If that's the case, we don't usually have a swiper. If we do, we have to tag him with something different. But then now we're down, we're slammed flat, right? No big deal. If we're in a situation where like, we're in this formation, we've got this and this, just like this one. Now how many are expanded? Two expanded. Guys, we can't run a comeback with this guy right here, right? He's just not up front. So what we tell our outside receiver is now he has the Margo. Mandatory outside release go, and now our inside receiver has what we call a doubt route, a deep out route. You have a stem, deep out route. We tell our H receiver, you have a two-step stem inside. So we're working two steps inside, we're eight to 10 on the speed out. 8 to 10 of the speed out, or the deep out, okay? 8 to 10 of the deep out. The, bet, the number one coaching point for this guy right here is if you come out at 8, if you start your speed out at 8, you better be flat at 10. If you come out at 6, you better be flat at 8. Guys, if you come out at 4, you better be flat at 6. Because if you're out and you come out at 6 and you're like, oh, i got to get to 10, and it looks like this, it is getting undercut by an alley defender, and it's going to get picked, and now our quarterback's got to make a tackle. That's not good news for us, okay? That, that, your hard, fast rule is you've got two yards to flatten out, guys. you got, hey, if it's two, you better be at four. The stem, the reason that we stem it two steps inside is because of the mesh, okay? That's the reason we step it two, step, two yards inside with the guy. But it is 8 to 10 on the speed out, on the deep out. So here we're running off tempo. Backside guy still got the post. <coughs> the only time that we've thrown the post on the backside guys is when we, we've, from the booth, someone said, hey, listen, they don't even, they don't even know he's there, okay? We don't, we don't even know he's there. And then guys, by that time, we throw the clover out off of it, okay? Because we can't protect it if we leave the back out or the H back out. But it's a really nice job by the H making sure that guy goes underneath him. It's a good job by the quarterback getting big. And then it's a really good job by our receivers being plus one players downfield, right? And being a great teammate and blocking for your guy downfield. So now we're running inside zone week, okay? We're running inside zone week. Nothing's really different. It's, it's not read or anything like that. And then our action off of it is I'll, I'll get to the next clip. <clears throat> and we run the, we run inside zone week on Temple as well, so you can see the camera didn't get it all the way. But you know we're getting this guy cut off. We're kind of going to here. We're kind of going to that guy. He's turning on his guy. He's the unblocked player. But you can see the backside guy screaming it as the cutback player, right? Okay, then off the football play, 
we run basically a naked pin. So if we run inside zone or, or outside zone, so we're running inside zone here, we're here, we're here, we're here, we're here. We call it naked, and then we call it pin. And that talks to this guy that he's pinning, the backside guy. Naked tells everybody it's out of pocket, right? Pin tells the tight end on the backside that he's got to pin the edge defender. If he's inside, it's easy, man. We're just pin blocking him, and then we're booting out of it, right? If he's there, it sucks. I'm not kidding, right? It sucks. So we, we'll reach him and live with it. Okay, you've got the edge player. If he lines up way out here, it's a really bad, bad call, right? If he lines up outside of you, it's still not a great call, but we can handle it. We can get uh, hands on that guy. Now, we tag different concepts with it. This is crush, right? With crush, we run that stretch route and a smash route, okay? That's, we, you can call it whatever, smash, china, flag, whatever it might be. This is our crush concept, okay? We also run our sail concept, which is a margo and a two-step doubt route, right? That stem doubt route, like we do off the backside of two expanded on boot. So we can tag it with a couple different things. It's a really nice job of our, of our receiver up top on a stem, on a stem on this crush rack. So watch what it does to the safety. The backside safety thinks he's getting cut off by him on the run play. Right, he sees him inside, gets him to flip his hips. Not a great throw, great catch. And the reason the throw's not very good is our quarterback is worried about bad guys. Hey man, you need to run as fast as you can. Just run as fast as you can. I tell the quarterbacks when we coach sprint out, when we coach boot, when we're on the move, your ball will go where your body goes. Your ball goes where your body goes, as fast or as slow as your body goes. Right? You're on the sprint out, and you throw it, and you slow down, what's that ball going to do? It's going to sail. You're on the sprint out, and you throw it, you speed up, where's it going to go? It's going to skip on the ground. Your temple's got to remain the same. So if you know that you really got to get a shot in there, right? You really got to rip that thing. You better be sprinting from the get go, and you better sprint all the way through the finish of the throw. If you're going to know that you've got to loft it in there, you better time it up, loft it in there. When we get big, we slow down. So what's it going to do? It's going to loft, it's going to get over the top of the gap, and it's going to get into our fullback's hands. So that ball's going to go where you go, how you go. Thank you. 